I have to be ready to play every night. I cannot be that guy who's who's easing into games. So for this team, I have to be that energizer, that dude. We have a, a phrase, reps removed out. You know, if you get the work in, you can trust the work, you know, and he's he's been working his tail off this year. I've been in the weight room a lot. I feel like the most, because I'm doing it. I'm doing pre-workouts, I'm working out after the game. You know, I'm working out on day offs. Just, you know, doing stuff to get me ready for the playoff. The physical strength that he's gaining now with his consistency in the off season and trending into the end season is allowing him to be a lot more physical on the block and allow him to be a lot tougher to guard, especially trying to get defensive and offensive rebounds. Pocket pass, D.A. with a little Bahamian. Oh, that Boom! Was, that was like, that was a little bit uh, uncomfortable. Him being in the weight room and throwing weights around, it definitely turns us over to the court. And I just remember when him, remember him being his first year, like his strength is totally different than it is now. Now he can move me. Before he really couldn't move me, now he can move me. So I think the weights are really helping him out uh, on the floor right here. And he's getting stronger, he's, he's able to move people around more. I think that's helped out his confidence a lot more on the court. Whether it's in the weight room or extra work with MB, what people don't know is the young man has been you know, coming to the, the gym at crazy hours lifting with Corey so that he can be prepared for moments like this. So he's certainly gotten himself into the kind of shape that it takes for a guy to put up these kinds of numbers. I think that's part of it too. Booker working the two-man game with Aiton. Trying to feed the big man inside. Gets it to him. The payoff. DeAndre came in a lot earlier this offseason and his consistency has truly proven that it's going to help him physically in the game. I'm in there, well, the late is probably 10 p.m. and I'm going home to around 12. You know, the security knows it's me every time I'm walking in, just, you know, just polishing up, you know, what I need and what the defense is giving me in these games, man. I think the work that we do in this building, I say concentrating on post moves, concentrating on floats, concentrating on setting the screen. It all transcends to uh, going into the game. He does a great job of working here, being precise on what we want to do. And then when we get to the game, it should be like second nature to him. And we watch film, you know, he sees what he's doing wrong, what he's doing right. And we just constantly work and grind and try to get him better. When you're working with the best athletes in the world, you want to be able to have no you know, no stone unturned. So you walk in this building, there's, li there's literally nothing that you wish you had that you don't have. You know, whether it's, you know, technology, whether it's software that we use to break games down, whether it's a world-class chef, whether it's dietitian, strength coach, analytics department. They definitely blessed us with an amazing facility, you know, to do things like that. And, you know, just be around basketball, man. It's our life, is our job. And, you know, I just want to be great at it. You know, I think I'm to that point where this should be a norm. You know, this is how I'm supposed to play. When you put the work in, you run into seasons or, or moments like this during the season. And I think that's something that he should be proud of, but not satisfied with. Who making them plays, who's on the glass, who's dunking the ball, who's getting the crowd in it, setting the hard screens, setting the tone of the physicality, moving people out the way. I'm the tone setter. And when I do that, my team follows and everything falls into play and we play Suns basketball the right way.